Behind this barricade is the soon to be open Regina bypass, a $1.8 billion project that will allow drivers to essentially go around the city of Regina. The bypass will be open to all drivers tomorrow, but officials held a ceremonial opening earlier today. Premier Scott Moe helped remove some barricades. Then, as a former farmer who holds a license to drive a semi-truck, he drove the first commercial truck on the highway. The bypass, seen in blue, is a $1.8 billion project that took four years. It includes 12 overpasses and 40 kilometres of four-lane highway. Moe said it will ease congestion and speed up the movement of goods across Canada and south to the United States. But the biggest impact for certain, for all of us and for our families that travel, will be in the area of safety. The Regina Bypass will save lives. Six years ago, Wanda Campbell's 17-year-old son Lane was on his way to Dairy Queen when he died in a highway collision. The teenager was trying to cross the Trans-Canada Highway east of Regina, an infamously dangerous stretch of Highway 1. There was a trail of crosses, a trail of heartbreak and broken lives connected with this part at the highway and something needed to be done. White City's fire chief says responding to highway emergencies east of Regina had become too routine. We're asked and the fire service to go out and meet people in their darkest moments and go help and uh, it is tough, it is tough but that's what we've signed up to do so that's what we do. With new overpasses already open east of Regina, Schultz says there are already fewer collisions. Well, we can see it. We don't get the calls that we used to. And, and then the severity is nothing. Again, we haven't used our jaws of life in two years. Highway crews will remove the rest of these barricades throughout the day tomorrow, and it's expected drivers will have full access to the bypass by late afternoon. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.